Hello and welcome to yet another video. Today we will be talking about the Catacombs Floor 1 and what you'll need to beat it. But you don't have to follow this guide, okay? There's a ton of ways to play Skyblock, a ton of weapons, armor, and other gear to explore. So if you want to do something differently, go for it. You can try out what fits you best and what class you like the most. But with that, Without further ado, let's actually talk about what skills you're going to need. Since, obviously, armor and weapons are not the only thing that you need. You're also going to need some high skills. I'd recommend about level 15 on most skills will be enough for floor 1. And Catacombs 5 is good enough since you can use a lot of good weapons and still gives you a quite good bonus. I would recommend playing with a party of three people when you're starting out, but without, you know, further ado, let's talk about the boss. Bonzo is the boss of Floor 1, and he's pretty simple on his first phase. He'll run away and summon undead to kill you. Sometimes you will shoot powerful wither skulls. I would recommend having one person kill the undead while the rest of the party is killing Bonzo. Once he's dead the first time, he will resurrect and chase you. In this phase, he does a lot of damage. So I would recommend having a tank or just simply running away. Sometimes he will return to the center of the room and shoot balloons. So I'd hide behind a pillar and occasionally try to hit him during this phase. And once, he's, and once you kill him, for the second time technically, he will be dead permanently. You can take your rewards, and you're done. But, we're still gonna need gear. So let's get into that. Before we get into the class-specific items, we should go over some items that you're gonna need, no matter what class you play. You're obviously gonna need some sort of healing, so a Wand of Mending and a Zombie Sword of some kind would be the best healing options. And if you could afford them, Always use a Dungeon Potion, and Mana Flux or Radiant Power Orb will also give you a pretty big advantage in Catacombs, so if you can get those, that is great. But let's get into our first class, the Archer class. For armor here, you're going to want something like Strong, Unstable, or Superior, but obviously Superior is quite expensive. And for weapons, you're going to want a Hurricane Bow, maybe a Venom's Touch are probably the best, but you could use a Dragon Shortbow, however it is quite risky. And for Berserker class is next. So Berserker class is really the same armor here with strong, unstable, superior, dragon armors being the best. For weapons, it is quite different with the aspect of the dragons or the pigment sword being the best options with an aspect of the end and a raider's axe being pretty good as well. Mage. Mage, mage, mage. This class is very different in terms of playstyle. So you will have to get used to it if you want to switch classes to this. So for weapons here, you're going to want a dreadlord sword, frozen scythe, aspect of the dragons, Probably the best option. Dreadlord Sword, very cheap. Frozen Scythe, bit more expensive. Aspect of Dragon, also not too expensive. And honorable mention to the Voodoo Doll, Pigment Sword, and Ink Wand, with them also having pretty good magic abilities. And the armor here, the only real choice is wise, but superior could work, since it does have higher HP and gives a pretty decent amount of mana when correctly used. And now, last but not least, the tank class. Armor is basically the most important thing for a tank. I'd recommend Protector or Old Dragon Armor. Superior is obviously very good, but again, super expensive, so I wouldn't recommend it for most of the classes even though it is one of the best. Other high EHP armors could also work, but I would recommend sticking with Dragon. 
Now, there really isn't a tank weapon until you get further into the catacombs. So here, you could really use any weapon. A pigman sword does have the ability that can give you a quite good amount of defense, so it would be very good for early game tanks. But besides that, there isn't really a weapon. Now, you may have noticed I didn't talk about pets yet. That's because I decided to give pets their own little section here. So, for archer pets, a weather skeleton or normal skeleton would be very good with a spooky cupcake, iron or gold claws would be very good pet items for these. For berserker, wither skeleton is also very good. A griffin, another great pick. And if you have a large amount of money here, a lion or tiger pets at high rarities are very good for berserkers. Again, spooky cupcake, iron or gold claws are the best pet items for these. For mages, a sheep with textbook, by far the best choice. And for tanks, they don't really have any cheap early game pets. The best options for them are really just a blue whale or baby yeti with a dwarf turtle shelmet. I know, very expensive. However, there's not really any other tank pets except except maybe the turtle. And with that, we are done. We have gone over all of the armor, pets, weapons, and skills, healing items. We've gone over how to kill the boss and how the boss works. We have gone over all that you will need to complete your first floor one run. Now remember, I would recommend doing this with three people, so don't expect to solo. You will probably die a lot, but you should be able to complete a floor one now. Now, this was a quite short video, but it took a long time to make, so I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.